Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey, and in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to change the permalinks of your WordPress website. And it's one of the first things that I do after I've installed my updates, I go in and change the permalinks. Now you might be saying, well, what is a permalink? Well, a permalink is the name for a permanent URL or the link to the website page, for example. And as a default in WordPress, the URLs are made up of a combination of numbers and question marks, which doesn't make them very user friendly. And you can change the way that this is displayed. And it's recommended that you change the way they're displayed before entering any content onto your website. If you do not change the permalinks, then you'll have a page name, which doesn't really say very much about the page. If you give someone the link without changing the permalinks, it will read something like um, http forward slash jennifersbailey.com forward slash question mark page ID equals 12. Not very pretty nor user friendly. But by customising the permalinks, this will mean that the page will automatically take on the page name. So now the same page's URL could be http uh, jennifersbailey.com forward slash about me, which is much better. Now it is possible to edit each permalink later. For example, if you move your posts or pages, but for the sake of ease, it's much better to change the settings before you add any content. So then all of the future permalinks use the same format. Now you may think that working with permalinks is really difficult, but actually it's not. It's really straightforward and WordPress does all the work for us. So for example, I'm just going to show you what um, a page name looks like when the permalinks have still been left in their default setting. So this is our sample page that's created when we set the website up. I'm just going to click edit. And here you can see the permalink and this question mark page ID bit, which is, it doesn't look very pretty at all. And if we go into the post, we'll see exactly the same structure there as well. So when I talk about um, permanent links, it does affect both pages and posts. So there we go, it's the same thing here. Now in order to set up the permanent links, we come down to the settings menu and then choose permanent links. And as you can see, it's set on the default at the moment, which shows this um, structure of question marks and numbers and things. Now, the sample we want is we want it to choose the post name. Now, I've always done it by selecting custom structure. Oh, hang on. Post name, which automatically puts forward slash percentage post name forward slash in the custom structure. And this is the one that we want to have. So you need to just make sure that you have this part written in here. Then we click save changes. Now, while I was making this video, I suddenly realized that um, Word, the newest version of WordPress, which I'm using here, actually updates the permalinks for you. So if I go back into the pages again here, go to all pages and go and have a look at the sample page we'll see that it is automatically updated itself now the reason it says about me here is I was fiddling about with it earlier and I changed the name of the page to about me just so I could show you how if I change the page name the permalink doesn't automatically update itself which gives me a really good example to show you how to edit this permanent link. So you click on edit and you replace it with whatever name or permanent link you want to use. So I'm going to change that back to sample page and I'll click OK. And then I'm going to update the page. So you'll now find that the permanent link has updated. If we go back into the posts and have a look at that one as well and edit, we can see that that has automatically updated itself. So you don't really need to worry about going back and editing your permanent links unless you decide to change the page or post name at a later date. So in this quick lecture, 
I've explained to you what permalinks are and also how to change the settings to make them more user friendly for your website. I'm Jennifer Bailey. Thank you for watching.